What's up, everybody? It's your boy Wings of Redemption, bringing you some gameplay here by the guy right there. <laughs> I want to talk about racism. And I want to talk about why racists do not bother me. Ooh, that's a big that's a big term. Why racism doesn't bother you? Well, a racist generally is a person that is upfront with their beliefs. It's not always true with everything. But a person that will openly call somebody out by their creed, race, or sex is generally a person that has nothing to hide. Whereas a person, whereas somebody that's a subliminal racist or a, you know, subliminal bigotry or like a conservative racist is a much more greater threat in the society in my day and age. If somebody doesn't play their cards the right as soon as you meet them, you, there's always that chance that he might be a racist. Like. How many times it was the first thing out of someone's mouth when you pretty much call them only, you know, or question one of their acts that they happen to do? It's, it's, it's like, you're trying to call me a racist? It's like they know their cover is blown. If you, and they, they try to defend themselves right away. It's almost like when somebody lets a fart out. You know, somebody busts a gas in a room and nobody and there's no sound so, no, so he can kind of deny it. First thing he wants to do is deny that he farted. And what 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 in your case causes more trouble? Someone that denies farts or somebody like, yep, did it right here and, and you know, and gives that motherfucker a name. The person that denies the fart causes more of a ruckus because then people wonder about who did it. So what happens when you put a subliminal racist or a subliminal bigot into office, such as a political office? bad things happen, you know? I mean, I mean, Kanye West, remember, t was talking about George Bush, you know? George Bush doesn't like black people. That could have been true, and you know why You know why it could have been true? Because we have no clue if it's true or not. That's called subliminal bigotry. That's why racism doesn't bother me. If, if somebody's a racist, at least I know where they stand. At least I know how to pretty much judge them. At least I know what kind of person I'm going to be dealing with right out the gate. Someone that drops the end bomb regularly or regularly parks away from them or attempts to or gets up and leaves from a restaurant because they get sit, sit next to a person of another race or religion. That person, I know exactly where they stand. They're putting their cars on the table. In effect, they're more truthful and honest than a person that will basically pretend to like a certain person and just... And just pretty much... What word am I looking for? Like, just wait for the opportunity to screw them so they can't. It didn't come back on them, if if that makes sense. But I the the reason the reason I say this because I've been I've been looking a lot of the political stuff. I mean, it's like what what good is the right to write the vote right now? Like, if you're like me, I don't want to vote for Romney. Or Obama. I don't really like how Obama ran the country the last four years, but the same effect. I don't really like Romney at all. I mean, first off, he's a Mormon. I don't really agree with the Mormon religion at all. And second off, he is he's a he's a flip flopper, flip flopper. I might as well call that motherfucker a rainbow. He flip flops so often, and he just seems like the kind of person. That will charade you with whatever you want to hear till he can get what he wants. He, in my in my effect, is a subliminal racist. I mean, just look at the, some of the stuff that he's did. Look at his speech where he where he accepted the uh, Republican nomination. Who was one of the people that he put up there, and they ended up cutting out of his speech. And you you know why he ended up cutting out of his speech because people started calling him on it. He put Eastwood up there. No, I by no means. A hater of Eastwood. Eastwood was one of my favorite actors and directors. Hell, I even sat through that pile of shit hereafter because Eastwood directed it. And I expected great things. But in the same effect, Eastwood's always touched on, you know, subliminal racism. He's never the kind of person that will hide from the from the idea of racism. I mean, Gran Turismo is one of the racist films I've ever seen in a while. And Eastwood directed it and starred in it. But the fact is, is Eastwood being on that platform a way that Romney can basically, you know pretty much put out there that he's a racist but not I, it, might, it, it might not make sense some people like say oh that's theory conspiracy theory but it's some people do subliminal stuff like that just to get them excited what do you guys think about subliminal bigotry it's been your boy